How's it going guys, Manny back here with another video for you guys. We're going to be doing some Nightmare Cup battles and I just want to apologize for not uploading the last week. Work just basically just kind of took over. So, um, but I finally got some videos for you guys coming up. I have this video that you guys are watching now and then I do have my Twilight Cup tournament that I participated uh, earlier this week as well, which it was a small turnout, um, but I ended, up, I ended up doing really well at that one. So uh, that will be also be coming out uh, later this week. Um, but yeah, so this is just some Nightmare Cup battles you saw. I started off with the Gardevoir. I um, ended up switching out here to Toxic Oak take down a Skunk Tank just because Gardevoir um, against Skunk Tank isn't the best matchup, um, even though Gardevoir is basically like the go-to Pokemon for Nightmare Cup. Um, against Skunk Tank, it's not the best matchup. So, But yeah, so as you saw, I switched over to Skunk Tank. Uh, he switches into his Gardevoir, but doesn't block that uh, Sludge Bomb. I think he thought I was going to go for a Mud Bomb there which is why he didn't block that, so um, a little mistake on his part there, and I just don't think he knew how much Sludge Bomb would actually do to Gardevoir, so um, as you can see, his Toxic Girl took mine out, I bring in a Hypno here, and I believe I'm going to shield this right here, yep, I'm going to shield the Mud Bomb, I probably could have let that go through, if I'm being honest, um, just wasn't really sure how much damage it would do, but we're going to see how much damage it does here, yeah, as you can see, I probably could have let it go through the first time, and I'm going to take down his Toxic Girl there for game one, so going on to game two here, uh, and again, these are all against my buddy Matthew. You guys know him by now. He's like my go-to uh, partner for battling and stuff. So I started with Hypno. He starts off with the Guard of War. Again, Guard of War, basically the go-to for Nightmare Cup. Um, but it can be beat easily. So I'm going to go ahead and launch a Fire Punch here, which I believe is going to shield expecting a Shadow Ball, um, which he does, which is a good good move. I mean, Fire Punch would have done a good chunk anyways. I'm bringing my own Guard of War here, and I'm going to go ahead and shield to the Synchronoise. Um, which I don't know how I feel about Synchronoise. I mean, if you can get it off, um, most likely your opponent's going to shield. Um, but it is what it is. You can see he switches there to his Blaziken, but that's just going to get utterly annihilated by my uh, by Guard of War. I get off of Synchronoise here and as he switches into the Spirit Tomb. He's going to shield that, and we're just going to be doing massive damage to Spirit Tomb. As you can see, basically Guard of War almost taking down the Spirit Tomb just on its own. And here I'm deciding what I want to bring in. I bring in Toxic Croak, and I'm going to go ahead and let this move go down. Uh, because I wanted to see how much damage um, any of Spirit Tooth's move did, because I don't remember how much damage they do anymore. Um, but yeah, so I end up taking down his Spirit Tomb, and I take down his Guard of War, which basically had no health. So yeah, so I, take, I end up taking Game 2. Going on to Game 3, I believe there's 5 games in total. There were, we did play 6, but the last game didn't record. I mean, I didn't realize that until afterwards, so... Um, but yeah, so game three, you both start off Gardevoir, and um, when this happens, you're basically just going to take each other out with Charm, as you can see there. And at this point, now we're now it becomes a waiting game to see who wants to switch in first. Um, I believe I choose Zatu here, and he chooses Skunk Tank, so a pretty decent matchup. Um, I mean, you can go either way, uh, depending on shields. I'm going to go ahead and shield this, expecting a Flamethrower. Um, but it is a crunch. I mean, crunch would have hurt anyways, but flamethrower is also a uh, a move that does hurt as well. Get off an ominous win here. He lets that go through, which is smart. You know, it's always, that's a move that you would let go against Skunk Tank. I get off another one here. Um, I don't expect him to shield this one either. Um, but I believe he did there. Um, the little shield which didn't pop up. And I'm going to go... I believe I let my Zatu go down here. Yeah, so... Bring in the Hypno here, which should take down this Gung Tank with just fast attacks. And now I'm almost there to a Flamethrower and a Shadow Punch. He has a Lucario in the bag. I'm going to go ahead and shield this. Oh, no, I don't shield this because this is a Power Punch, right? Yeah, so never uh, never, uh, never shield the first Power Punch unless it's you know super effective, whatever. Um, but I go ahead and launch a Fire Punch, which he shields. And then I go ahead and launch another one here. Um, probably could have built up for a Shadow Ball, um, but it didn't really matter, as you can see there. So, end up taking, I believe that was Game 3. I'm going on to, it should be Game 4 here. And I believe I started with Gardevoir as well. I wanted to see how Gardevoir did against everything, and, I mean, Gardevoir is queen in this cup. So, um, as you can see, he starts up with Lucario, switches into the Raichu, which probably wasn't the smartest uh, thing to do. He is going to get up a charge move here, but I'm going to shield that, um... And I'm just building up energy and take down his right shoe there. And I believe he brings out um, his hip out here. So, got to do some damage with Charm. Go for a Synchro Noise, which he is going to shield, I believe, here. Which would be the smart play to do. Um, and then I go ahead and switch out to um, Shift Tree. Um, I wanted to test Shift Tree here. Because um, if you guys saw my original Nightmare Cup video, I praised Shift Tree a lot. 
um shift was like my go-to but at, in further testing shift really doesn't do that much or that well um with all the new moves added and everything so um i go ahead and shield here uh, mainly because i try to get to a leaf blade uh, which i am able to get to and hopefully um either knock out his hypno here or bait the shield and i end up knocking it out here so he brings back Lucario, which takes down my shift tree, obviously. And then I'm just going to bring back Guard War here and just basically finish off with, or hopefully finish off with Lucario with Charm. Um, but he's able to get off a Power Punch. Um, but because it is Power Punch, it's not really going to do anything against uh, Guard War. So I end up taking that as well. So going on to the final game here, um, I'm going to lead with, I believe I lead with shift tree again. Because again, I wanted to see if he still lived up to the hype um, that I personally um thought that he would live up to but uh razor leaf still good, doing a good chunk um but again just with the new meta with new moves added and stuff i don't believe shift tree is really a viable option he can still be used but just n he's not nearly as good as he was before but i am able to get off a leaf blade here um which i expect him to shield which he does and he's gonna end up taking down my shift tree here and then i believe i bring in uh gardevoir yep and just charm away he's gonna get off one more move and i'm gonna shield expecting crunch here um which he obviously gets to and that would have done a lot of damage to gardevoir he's going to bring in i believe his own gardevoir here if i remember this correctly nope brings in hypno and i'm just gonna do as much damage as i can he has shield advantage i have no shields um i get off a synchro noise here um which he is going to shield and Basically, um, with that shield, he's going to end up taking down my Gardevoir here with, uh, I believe this is going to be a Fire Punch. Um, no, it's an Ice Punch. So it didn't really matter, because then he's going to bring in, I bring in my Hypno. I'm going to be able to take down his here, um, even though he gets another Charge Root, which is going to be a Shadow Ball, um, which is going to hurt, as you can see. Um, I get off a Fire Punch here, but it doesn't matter because his last Pokemon, uh, spoiler, is going to be... His guard of war which is going to end up taking out my hypno so that's going to be it for this video guys if you guys enjoyed it please feel free to give the video a like and subscribe if you're new and i will catch you guys in the next one take it easy